All right, hey, how's everybody doing? I see Brian Rope, not negative. Dev, Miss Chairhorn, Dead Wing Dick, Mr. Keebs. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Okay, so let's go ahead and start unboxing. This is gonna be DSA Legacy, I hope. And so it's basically DSA Pulse and DSA Laser. Not bad. Let's see, what did I do this weekend? I watched a Dota Major. That was pretty much my weekend, I think. Did I do anything else? I don't think I did anything else. Yeah, no, I didn't really do anything else, I don't think. Let's see. I got a free meal yesterday, that was nice. I went to Smash Burger. It's this chain it's not not that great and the payment system was down so everything was on the house we were basically the last ones they allowed in for the day so after they realized the glitch in their system they actually locked the doors from the inside so no one else could come in before they you know bled more money and i'm glad i have to pay for it because it was pretty bad You went drinking. <laughs> the Smash Burger in Colorado. The thing is, I don't know. I mean, it's okay, but it's not, yeah, too much grease and not just too much grease. It's the flavor is too flat. It's always just salty and greasy. That's it. There's really nothing. They, they don't rely on, you know, umami or maybe a bit of sour maybe a bit of sweet. They don't really rely on any of that. It's all just oily and salty. Steak and shake, yeah, I have. I'm doing okay, what about you? Nice BCS, five guys though. I like fries better at five guys. Let's see, hey, what's up, pavilions? Yeah. I guess it depends on, you know, which chain you go to or, cause some places, They'll have more grease than others, right? It really depends. Okay, so this thing probably has my address, so I'll take it out. Okay. So, oh wow. These colors are pretty insane. It looks like a grab bag, doesn't it? Okay. So let's see what I got. I got black alphas. Rush Numpad, Neon Leet, or 1337, Measy Leet, Solace Base Mods, Rush Base Mods, Solace Numpad, Rush TKL, Novelties, Rush Extras, Solace 1337, or Leet, Solace Extras, Solace TKL, Rush Alphas. And I don't remember what any of this is. I think Solace is the Pulse, is the black and cyan and rush is laser i think mr keep says he's not a fan of in and out oh do you like just leaving it in and some people don't like the in and out motion that much okay let me see are you more of a cuddling kind of guy Yeah, lots of colors. What do you guys usually get on Stick and Chick though? I haven't been in a long time actually. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these. I'm just gonna. Is the lighting weird? No, right? Okay, it looks fine.
Okay, so this is... I should probably do it in an order, right? Instead of just randomly picking them up. Maybe I should. Okay, so this is the Elite Kit. This is, I think, Rush? I don't even know. Neezy? I don't know. It's the, the purple and cyan one. Why does it look so dark? Does it look really dark? Okay, that's better. It was just a stupid box. Okay. So, let's check some of these out. Maybe I can just zoom in. Maybe that's what I'll do. Oops. Hmm, maybe not. It doesn't look too good. Okay, so let's check some of these out. These are DSA caps, not my favorite profile, that's for sure. They look nice though. And the Double Shot Legends are pretty good. And look at that. You got the PUBG frying pan. So this will give you a better idea of kind of the, you can see the surface, so kind of a matte surface on it. These are ABS, not PPT. How many can I fit on my hand? And then this is what the underside looks like. Okay, so that was one pack. We've got lots of packs to look at. Okay, let me look at. Okay, Deadwing Dick says Portillo. It's great if you're ever in the Chicago area. Mr. Keep says In and Out is overrated, in my opinion. You know, let's talk about Sonic and Shake Shack as well. Never been a toppings person. You guys are you guys are disgusting. Well, I don't like when they do too much to a burger, I will say. But onions. You need onions. For most burgers, not all of them. I'm actually not a fan of bacon on burgers. I think bacon should be left alone. Burger should be its own thing too. This keeps says the DSAs I tried are all shit Chinese PPT stuff. Let's see. This keeps it. All right, see you, Mr. Keeps. Have a good week. But yeah, onions and mushrooms for sure. Still prefer plain? Yeah, I don't know how you guys do it. I have a friend who... When... Okay, let's... Let's go in an order. I, I don't even... Nah, let's just do whatever the hell, right? Because I have too many... To look at. But yeah, so I went to a subway with a friend and... 
the person in front of us, so we were in line, and the lady in front of us just got, I think, hearty Italian bread or something like that, and she got, I can't remember what it was, but it was some, let's say meatball marinara, okay, she got meatball marinara, and then cheese, salt and pepper, or just maybe not salt, but, uh, something like that, salt and pepper, and that was it. And so I told my friend, oh my god, that's fucking, you know, so, so we're a few yards away, and I said, oh man, that's fucking disgusting, right? Uh, so my friend said, oh, uh, wait till you see mine. And so when she got hers... Hers was just regular wheat bread or something. Maybe not even wheat bread. Maybe just regular, you know, the, the regular white sub bread. And she, she got Italian BMT or something. Something with just, you know, meat and cheese. And that was it. Literally, that was it. No sauce, no anything, nothing. No, no vinegar, no olive oil. I mean, I don't even like vinegar on my sandwiches, but you know, just nothing. Just meat, cheese, and bread. That's just fucking disgusting. And and then it turns out that's kind of standard behavior here in Texas. Apparently, I didn't know that. Yeah, and people here have the audacity to tell me that they love food and they love eating. I'm like, no, you don't. Okay, so first of all, I already see something horribly, horribly wrong. I wonder if they're going to fix this because this is insane. I already see something really bad. Okay. Yeah, see the thing is, if you get all plain and you recognize that you just don't give a shit, that's fine. But yeah, there's a lot more to life then. Holy shit, these caps are... I wonder what went wrong. These are pretty bad for signature plastic standards. Holy shit, real bad. Was this intentional? Can someone pull up the DSA Legacy page on Mass Drop? Okay, look at this shit. All right, so they're all supposed to be centered, right? So this is, I think, Rush. It's supposed to be the, maybe, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is Rush. It's supposed to be the laser colorway. Okay, so they're all supposed to be centered, just like on almost any DSA set, right? First of all, okay, so it's supposed to be centered, and is it just me or does this not look very centered? Okay, but this one isn't as obvious, so let's ignore it. Look at that. Okay, now now it's getting obvious, right? Look at that. That does not look right. See, okay, let's line up the two shifts. According to the center. Right, let's maybe grab a ruler or something. Right, this looks pretty off to me. Oh, 
Okay, and so that's pretty bad, right? Feast your eyes on this. What the actual fuck is this? What happened? Jesus, this is the worst signature plastic set I've seen so far in my in my whole time in this hobby. This is insane. I I don't understand this. And I don't think there's been mentions of fixed kits yet. This is unacceptable. They should they will surely leave a legacy or hey, maybe maybe in 50 years this will trade for a good price. Look at look at this, look at the underside. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. How did this happen? See, backspace doesn't look bad. What on earth is with the anarchy? It doesn't line up with anything. It, 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 it doesn't line up with the start of the backspace. And it's not centered. It's supposed to be centered, right? Yeah, see, so I don't know. This is this is real bad. Oh man, and look at the look at the E on backspace as well. Look at that. It's got a limb dick for a top. Okay, so did... Can you guys check the discussion page to see if anyone has mentioned anything about fixed kits and replacements because this is this is unacceptable this is really this is garbage okay so we looked at these two sets and then now this is the should i just go by colors i should go by colors right um, so Should put them on a board maybe so well, these are supposed to go with this these are not okay so another annoying thing about this drop is that usually the bags are labeled with with some sort of internal code that is readable and, and intuitive these are not these are just weird numbers and shit so you basically have to refer to this thing so these are rush extras Okay. 
assuming this is the numpad. Hey, what's up, Eric Siv? Yes, these keycaps look nice, but there's there's some problems right now. Okay, so nothing yet. Good lens for the keys yet, centering issues with. Oh, really? Okay, so other people didn't have problems with their inner keys? Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, what's up, Zim? Zoology? Okay, so here's what you missed. Yeah, what the actual fuck is this? So they're all supposed to be centered, but... Oh my god, so I have to look through them Oh, this is so dumb. This is my first time seeing... Signature plastics have problems like that. It's pretty bad. Okay, so... We looked at that, and... Let's put them on a the board, actually. Okay, so another thing as well, for some reason, these caps seem to be coming with... Yes. Coming with cum stains. Look at that. This drop is so weird. See? Look at this. I didn't, I didn't know that the van man was helping out at Signature Plastics. Brings a whole new meaning to pit my keyboards. They were too busy jizzing into the caps rather than looking at them. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know what happened. This is so wrong. Okay, so these are the alphas. Hopefully nothing is missing. See, look at look at that. Mass drop ran it. So, 
Hopefully that means replacements shouldn't be too big of a problem, but still. Okay, so this is a KB75 that I have to repair. I haven't had time to fix it yet. But let's go ahead and put these keys on here. Oh my god, my ears. That sounds nasty. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna check the other anarchies. One second. Okay, Zim says, hey, the guy, oh, yeah, 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 I got the, did I not reply on Discord? I guess I forgot. Yeah, yeah, the guy emailed me a few days ago, and it should arrive on Tuesday, or oh, Tuesday or Monday, Monday, yeah. These alphas look like the PALS my toilet colors. Yeah, so Legacy is basically just DSA a bunch of his recent ideas. So, or his recent sets. Laser, PALS, my toilet. Is there any objective benefit of DSA? Objective benefit? Nah. Well, okay, the only one is because it's uniform, you can use it without worrying about row profile. So for example, if you have a a really weird layout on your keyboard, for example, on an Atrius or something, then you can use a flat profile like DSA because you don't have to worry about mismatching rows. That's it. And even then, 
it's not unique to DSA, right? You've got XDA and all these other flat uniform profiles that can do the job. Hey, hammer brother, seven months in a row. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's use the space bar as well. And I think that should be it. It's all the alphas, right? So. Lotsy, hey, came here to listen to you shit on laser some more. Well, it's not so much a problem with laser, it's a problem with quality control. Yeah, because uh, now the annoying thing is that if other people don't have the same problems, then if it's not a widespread issue, then that's a big problem. Because who knows who has a problematic key? And a lot of people aren't even going to think about it. They're just going to think, oh, that's just the way it is. Or they're not going to notice it until months later. Oh, shit, what happened? So we've got the, the hell are these? I think this is numpad. And this is, so this is a good idea of what GMK laser will look like. I, it won't match one to one because they had to fly Mito out to Germany to match the colors and stuff. So I. They won't match perfectly, but should be a good idea. Okay, is that the whole FO? Perfect. Paku Paku, hey. Welcome to the stream. Alright, who else is here? Zoology says, I bought 14 feet of Italian marble countertops today at auction for the price of a custom keyboard. Well, price of what custom keyboard though? Right, it could be a price of an OTD, it could be a pr the price of a gherkin. So, what kind of numbers are you talking about? Marble is awesome though.
Yeah, it's a KVD-75. What's up, NGB? Is there such a thing as quiet blues? No. I mean, I don't get why you'd want quiet blues, though. Okay, so we've got this, and then we've got... I believe this will be when my... Okay, yeah, someone help me check the DFC Legacy Math Drop page. I'm assuming I'm supposed to have... Am I supposed to get these two blanks? This doesn't make sense. So I have a blank 2.75... And a blank 1.75. Is this supposed to be normal? So I don't remember what comes with which kit. Well, I will say these are... This set is one of the worst I've seen for signature plastics, honestly. Look at the A on caps lock. I mean, first of all, you know, all all these four keys, the, the font are all different sizes or whatever. And look at the A. It's basically almost a triangle. Whereas on meta and on caps lock, it's more pronounced. Caps lock, this is kind of fucked, right? It, that should not look like that. That's really bad. Right, it's weird because, see, even on the other keys, the kerning isn't so spread out, I think. But the caps lock just looks awkward as shit. Hey, how's it going, Lampa Vanworth? So it looks so nice on the laser desk, man. I thought about bringing that out, but I probably won't do it now because if I bring it out, we won't be able to see the keycaps, right? It'll all just disappear. Blanks are part of kit. Okay, what sizes were they? 2.75 and 1.75? The villain says, and then I just started to use clear switches and they are so heavy. What can I do? Well, I mean, they are advertised as heavy. I don't see anyone advertising them as light or medium. They are definitely very heavy. Keyboard is the white fox. And yeah, these are double shot ABS, yes. But yeah, this is quite concerning actually. Hey, what's up, Red Hawk? Yeah, still going. It's it's, it's going to be quite a quite an unboxing because I got a lot of kits and so I have to open all of them up. Level one versus. I had an interview today and got the job. Wait, on Sunday? Wait, today's Sunday, right? Yeah, Sunday. Then I got a little drunk and now I'm sober and getting ready for bed. 
That sounds like a that sounds like a great weekend. Do you start tomorrow, or a few in a few days? Nice job on the new job, or is that new job on the new job? But yeah, that's some good stuff, man. How many, how many, how many drinks did you have to celebrate? You can just buy springs from somewhere. That would probably be your best bet. If you try to, if you're trying to desolder a board to get switches, that's just that's not the way to do it. Okay, so. Okay, so for those of you who just tuned in, Red Hawk, check this out. So DSA is supposed to be all centered, right? Look at this shit. Yeah, I I have no idea what's going on. That's pretty bad. Brian says, you gotta frame those keys when you move to your new place. Hey, maybe, yeah. I still have the backspace of an S key. The misspelled backspace key. Four beers and vodka. Very nice. Well, hopefully you won't be too hungover to pick up the call tomorrow. Zim says, do you like the pink of the set? I'm not sure if I like it at all. Maybe it looks better in person. We'd love to hear what you think of the colors of the set. Okay, so... I mean, I don't know what it looks like for you on camera, but I can tell you it's not bad. It's, it's not hot pink, that's for sure. I would expect more red in the pink. So, I mean, I quite like it with the purple. I think it looks all right. I think if they had gone with a, a hot pink or whatever, it wouldn't have looked as good. But then again, maybe I would have preferred a darker, a more purple, closer to purple pink, maybe. I don't know. Pink reminds me of flamingos. Yeah. A very pink flamingo. Very, very pink flamingo. I don't think flamingos are this saturated. Yeah, because this monitor that I have right here is not calibrated, so I don't know how accurate it is. And I don't know how accurate it will be for you. Fuchsia? I, I, yeah, I guess, yeah. That's what it is. I would say so. I would say yeah. I would say think flamingo, but you turn up the contrast a bit more or saturation. Just get the fucking tools. It's seven dollars. I mean, may maybe if you're not in the U.S., that might be a bit more difficult. But if you're in the U.S., just just get it for seven dollars. You're gonna use it for sir for not just switch top removal, but also for opening up switches and stuff. 
It'll basically be a pair of Be a pair of these things, so I've got them taped up, but basically this. Uncle Van Wurf says, Here's my new board, by the way. Is that the 75 or 96 key? Okay, very nice with Nautilus as well. Look at you for matching wallpaper. Yeah, I'd say. Get the switch removal things and then just just there's there's quite a few guides on RMK and and everywhere on YouTube as well. Just Google it and you'll find it really. Okay, so now we need a few more keys to fill it up. So we've seen these two colors. Let's look at Okay, so we already looked at the double shot legends from just now, so we're just gonna look at the colors. So this is basically a hybrid of the purple and fuchsia, whatever. Okay, thanks for the follow, Shahar233. Alright, see so not bad. Question is, do we want to use these as our arrow keys? I guess we could, right? No oh, wait, that looks bad. What am I thinking? I need a Hey, thanks for the two bits. Yeah, DSA is about one millimeter thick, so yes, not not thick. It's bright middle ground, which reminds me of kind of an argument I had with Mito a while back. This was this was a long time ago. Though. He was adamant that they were thick, and everyone's like, no, that's not thick, right? At the most, I would say medium. those should I just use a regular indicator okay and so we looked at the I guess rush or whatever we'll complete this in a bit so now let's look at the novelties pack I believe this is a novelties okay so colors galore there's a smogus board smogus board is that even the right word? Of colors. So you get purple on green. I think this is the Troubled Minds color. Maybe. 
And you get purple on orange. You get purple on cyan. So you get three anarchies. These are all the colors. And you get a black on, I guess lime would be the word for it. Purple on lime, black on cyan. That's the caps lock key. You got black on, what the fuck? This is not even, that doesn't match anything. That's so weird. Well, I guess this is designed for, this is an orange for Rush, and this is the original orange for Pulse, I guess, or something. I don't know. That's not red and not orange. It's right between red and orange. You get the wrecked key. Purple and orange. You get your trash can key. Isn't it ironic that the trash can key is legends are better than the ender key legends? Okay, that's just the same key. And yeah, purple and cyan. Another purple and cyan. Hey, what's up, Nationaut TV? Power Ranger colors. All right, have a good night. And again, good job on on that interview. Trash can is clean, yes. But the inner key is not. Okay, so what color do we want on this thing then? That's definitely not the way to do it. Orange? Do we want orange? Or do we just want the fuchsia? Or do we want purple on cyan? Hey, Doctor Distinguished. Yes, Sunday stream. Yeah, I, I'm this summer. I'm trying to stream at least two or three times a week. Cyan. Non says brick cubed. Well, what do you mean it don't match though? It's literally just the inverse of the alphas. Yeah. Don't have much of a choice, but my other energy is fucked, right? See, this is so strange. So you know how your energy is supposed to be mod colored instead of, well, I guess this is, but still, it's just weird that they give you this key because it doesn't really go anywhere. I'm just gonna put a normal escape, I think. I don't want any more cyan. Full novelties num row. We could do that actually. If you want, we could actually do that. I could replace all of these with the... Actually, do you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that, right? Fuck it.
<laughs> exactly. Orange kind of gets lost with the pink. Let's see. All right, so how do we do this? Oh, did we not get the... Oh, we did. So... We could put the fucking motorbike helmet over here. Yeah, that's why. That's why I I I, I uninstalled F Flux actually, or Flux or whatever. I used to have it too, and I got so sick of turning it off because I it would turn on automatically, right? And so I found myself turning it off every night because I needed to do something that you know required. Accurate ish colors, so in the end, it was just a hassle. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter how we arrange this, right? Just a bunch of weapons, anyway. Yeah, I think this is the Columbine pack. So we've got that. So it's a gives gives you a good idea of what GMK laser will look like. Yes. Of course, the SA sounds pretty bad as usual. Okay, so I set this one aside, and then let's look at the other colors. <laughs> oh, you didn't turn it off as well? Oh gosh. Okay, Dr. Distinguished says, it would be much better if it gradually shifts the colors. Well, it does, right? It does gradually shift colors just in a matter of seconds or in one second, All right? It just it gradually switches, but you can't change how long it takes to. Maybe you can now. I don't know. The space between the C and V. So this is also a good time to mention that this is very common with signature plastics keycaps that the edges are not all angled. It's why whenever I do switch alignment, I tell people not to use signature plastic keycaps to, to do switch alignment. GMK is pretty straight, but 
Substantial plastics is not, that's for sure. This set's a hard pass for me. Oh yeah, I mean, some people like it, right? I mean, it's not something I would use every day. I usually leave my screen pretty bright so it really hurts my eyes at night. So anyway. Yeah, I almost never have my room dark though, that's the thing. Over an hour, okay. So okay, you can now. Let's see. I remember mine Yeah, so like I said, I it would start turning yellow in the evening and yeah, I would always turn it off until I go to bed, which is kinda of pointless, right? Okay, so now we've got cyan on black. This will be pulse colors. Okay, since we're looking at all black and cyan now, maybe I should change the desk mat. Okay, let's do that. Very much, yes, indeed. Which is why, which is why I don't like that. I think. Oh no, is that a spot? Can I clean that up? There's a spot. Oh well. My word per minute is around 100 or 110. Highest was 140, I think, on type racer. 130 something, 140. Okay, so like I said, these are the pulse colors. And so I'll just show you guys a few So you have a better idea. Oh shit, do I even have a 70 space bar? I just realized. Oh, I think I forgot to order 70 space bars, right? Fucking GG. Well, oh, that's a rip, fellas. I guess I'll put it on the canoe. 
So, my friend hasn't picked up the canoe yet, so we can still use it. For whatever reason, I just assumed the enthusiast would have low work, words per minute. Oh, that's really good. Well, we're just gonna show off the the DSA pulse, right? Making me regret not getting it. Oh, look! Look at how nice that looks. Oh, that teal is so beautiful. Put a cap over the spot, please. Oh yes, is it covered? It's covered now. Yeah, it's the white cap. Well, white spot for some reason. I guess we're not gonna use these, right? Let's. Enough with the with the violent keycaps. <laughs> Stream cancel. Okay, so look at those. Black and cyan is more my taste. Yeah, I actually used to have SA Pulse. Oh, it was at least a year or two ago. I sold it within a few weeks though. A few reasons. One is of course I can't I don't like typing on SA. And the other one was because the colors actually weren't as nice as I thought they were gonna be. A lot of people like it though. Basically, they are a bit darker and more desaturated than what most pictures would show it to be. They're not as vibrant, that's for sure. It's on the dark side of cyan. Deadwing Dick says, I have two pulse sets and ordered some kits I didn't from the last drop. Generally curious. Okay, let's see. Black and Cyan nice too. Yeah. It's not bad, that's for sure. I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just saying that, you know, it, it didn't match what I thought it was going to look like. And I couldn't really type on SA, so it was just kind of a... Why, why do I even have this then? So 
for those of you who really want a canoe, I would not pay six hundred dollars for one. So if you see some and you're tempted, I would not recommend it. It is not a six hundred dollar board. Okay, I'm missing a Q. Okay, that should be it. Okay, yeah. Space bar. All right, see you rest of us. Have a good night. The dinghy. What would you value it at then? Not 600, I'll tell you that. I said, well, the thing is, I can't, I can't choose a value for it, right? If, if you ask me what it's, you know, my honest opinions on what it should be worth, I would say under $400. I would say 300 something, 300 maybe, 300 something. It is not a high-end board in terms of finish and acoustics. Build quality, yeah, I would, I would not. Again, but I don't get to decide what value people place on a board, right? Because it's the only one that looks like this, sort of. And... If you want it, that and people want to pay six hundred dollars for it, I can't stop them. All right, M sixty five A trading for you know six hundred dollars or so, five hundred six hundred dollars. Do I think it's worth that much? No. Okay, so this is a first as well. This is a very warped ABS space bar. So this is not PBT. And it is still very warped. Okay, so let's see. Flat surface that I have would be... I guess a metal ruler. 
This is straight enough, right? It's the back of a five degree case. Look at that. See, so I don't know. This is this is probably the worst quality control I've ever seen from a signature plastic set. This is unacceptable. All right, so we had some problems with some of the legends, and look at this. Yeah, so this definitely needs replacement. And again, this is ABS. If it's PBT, I would say, well, I didn't expect anything different. Devness is I'm not looking forward to having to adjust a normal sleeping schedule. Gonna make staying out for a full stream hard. Yeah, the thing is, once I move, my stream schedules will probably change as well. It'll probably all get pushed a little earlier in the day. And I might even do some in the afternoon. Cause most of my stream schedule right now is you know, it revolves around a roommate sleep schedule. So once I move to my own place, it should be, you know, I'll have more freedom in terms of when I start streaming. Hey, what's up, Monkey Spittle? All right, let's see, who else is here? Let's see. How much do you value the Tina by comparison? It's, I mean, it's valued at whatever price it's valued at, right? Because if it's more expensive, then why the fuck would I like it? Are there 3D templates for modeling keyboards? Honestly, I have no idea. How much did you order for? Uh, I ordered a lot. I don't even remember. Because I didn't even remember what I had coming in until I checked the, <laughs> the, the list. But I know I bought at least two full... Um, as in full, so TKL and numpad of the, the two base ones, and then novelties, and some, then a lot of the extras. So. Oh well. Man, see, so it's not just warped. Look at the underside, too. Is this supposed to look like that? Look at these two. This one looks bigger than the other one. Is that supposed to be normal? Maybe? I don't know. You can repair it with a heat gun. You can try, but I would not recommend it. Most of the time, I would not recommend it. And for PBT, it's the same thing as well. Because with a heat gun, you're assuming that it's warped only on one axis. Whereas a lot of times, it's not. It's not as simple as, oh, it's just warped upwards or something like that. It's upwards and sideways and other shit. And so it's not as simple as, oh, just heat it up and smash it down. It's not that simple. So as you can smash it down, and maybe it's finally flat, you know, on one axis, on the X axis. But, you know, it could still be curved. So it could be flat, but curved. So that could be a problem too. Yeah, so... This is really not good. I wonder what went wrong with this set.
Okay, let's use one of these novelties. I'm waiting for GMK Pulse and GMK Godspeed. GMK Godspeed would be pretty nice. But I guess if you could do XGA Godspeed, then you should be able to also do Dice Up Godspeed, right? Can you imagine? BT Dice Up Godspeed? That would be. Cherry Profile BT Dice Up. That would be super nice. Okay, so it looks like we've got a normal en anarchy. Not like the other one we looked at. So again, let's close up with pulse. Okay, so at least on my monitor, from what I can see, it does not really look like that in real life. It is darker, a little bit more green. It's definitely darker, more blue, more green. Control here. Up here. Oh shit, what am I doing? That's right. There's a gap. Let's see. Just need the. There we go. 1.75 is shift. Are those supposed to be megaphones? Yes! That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Yes, it's it's kind of a signature of SA Pulse. Yeah, because it's the caps lock key. on this one because it's not straight although I do have the I believe the same black I do have let me go look actually I wonder if that one came with space bar.
Okay, so I have this was from DSA. Oh shit, I don't even remember what it's called. The one with the CSGO stuff. Do not remember? Where the leak kit first showed up. Overcast, there we go. Look at you, smart man. You really are a doctor. Okay, yeah. This should be better. It's not as warped as the other one. Yeah. The other one was fucked. This is not bad. Okay, so these are the two boards. Bit of a color vomit. Okay, Pavilion says, I've checked the issues that my keyboard does have LED installed. Yes, so you cannot do switch chart removal anymore. If it has LEDs, you cannot do switch chart removal, unfortunately. The only way you could have done that was if you had used SIP sockets with the LEDs. Then you wouldn't have to desolder anything for you to do switch chart removal. But yes, if you have LEDs, you're fucked. No other way around it other than desoldering or just buying another keyboard. Okay, so these are the keycaps we unboxed today. DSA Legacy. Quite a, quite a terrible legacy, isn't it? Tarnished, or a great legacy tarnished by Signature Plastics' quality control problems. So I'm going to have to get in touch with Mass Drop. This is a canoe, and this is a KV-75. To clip the LEDs if you can't desolder. Yeah, you would destroy your. You would fuck things up. Though I would not do that. <laughs> Should left the editor. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hey, thanks for the follow, Jimmy. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So this week, there should be another unboxing. There should be at least another unboxing this week. Oh, I just realized, holy shit. You can see the burger underneath. Oh, no. You did not see anything. Okay, so this week there should be at least one more unboxing before the Friday build. So on Friday, we're gonna do the mirror. We're gonna redo it. We're gonna redo the mirror and it will have lubed vintage blacks. And yeah, so there should be, let me see. Oh shit, there could even be two unboxing streams or three. Well, hopefully not too many, we'll see. But so what I have arriving are a LZCP and I have to desolder that one to get these switches for the mirror build and I 
And then I have two TGR 910s coming in on Monday. You heard that right. Two. Two TGR 910s coming in on Monday. It will be a purple and gray TGR 910 CE and a polycarbonate TGR 910. So we're going to unbox those two as well. And I'm also getting the... Holy shit, I've got so much stuff coming in. And I've got... Well, most of it's not mine. But I've also got the... Hangul Dysops from Cape Republic coming in. So we can finally judge that set and see if it's worth getting at all. And no, they're not mine. Like for example, this is a mine. Yeah, so we've got lots of stuff coming in. And we will... Unbox, unbox all of them and get this, check them out. Yeah, and then there should only be one build stream this week because I'm going to do mostly unboxings this week. And then, so Friday will be the build. I think the previous Mira stream was on the webcam, so this time you get a better look at it. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you all have a good week. The next stream should be either... Tomorrow or Tuesday, I'll let you guys know. About the about the same time. Alright. Have a good one. I will see you all. See you, Chairhorn, Red Hawk, Mouse is fine, Monkey Spittle. Who else is here? For I too not. Pavilions as well. Deadwing Dick. Alright, have a good week.